Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and I'm here to talk to you guys about some artwork. It is Veda Day number nine. Number nine, I shaved my face a little bit, not as close to you guys. I'm actually sitting in my studio, and I got a bunch of paintings strewn about. You, can, you can't see them because they're just off frame. But I wanted to talk to you guys about my artwork that's not Disney, because I don't really share it on this channel ever, and I figured why not use a Veda Day vlog to do it. So let me show you a couple of my first pieces. I'm just going to show it to you here real quick, and then I will cut to just an image. So you guys can see it. that bottom one is the first one I did, actually. Um, what did I call this thing? I called this one... Digging Free From Your Grave, Unearthing Inspiration. It's basically all based on money. Um, you can see on there, there's four gray circles. Those are actually embossed uh, coins. The one in the center is a quarter. The, uh, there's a nickel, penny, and a dime that make up the little pyramid eyeball, all-seeing Illuminati symbol, you know, the eye. Uh, there's also a pyramid hidden on there, and everything basically in this drawing is just ballpoint pen. I think it was like a money tree, or some like pen from like a money place, some weird thing like that. It was like, ugh, I had no money at the time. I was actually kind of homeless, not really homeless, I was living somewhere. I was living with a, a good friend of mine invited me to live with her because it was kind of a not a great situation at the house I was at uh, where I, yeah, I just couldn't afford it anymore. I had roommates, that, you know, one disappeared, one came back, one left, and either way I was kind of stuck footing most of the bill and I didn't want to do it anymore so I just didn't, I couldn't afford it, it was ridiculous. Um, so I ended up living with a friend for like two months very nice to let me go live with her and her family. Uh, and I was just there for two months between finding a new place and getting set up. But during that time, I was like, ugh, money was like the worst problem ever. I happened to draw this picture, and I basically all I had was a couple bucks in my wallet. And I just started drawing what I saw on a $5 bill, and it started with that eyeball. Uh, not the one in the pyramid, but the other eyeball, and it's actually Abe Lincoln's eyeball. And I just started drawing it on a blank piece of paper. And I had nothing to do, I didn't want to spend money and go anywhere, I was trying to save. So I just started drawing. This was actually the first time I had drawn in like six years. I hadn't really touched anything artsy before that um, in six years. I did, in, in the six years prior, what I did, that was just high school art. I'd won a couple awards here and there for different things. I was into the punk rock movement, so everything was real angsty and, you know, very anti-establishment. Um, you know, things about Manifest Destiny, just like weird, crazy stuff. But I still won awards for it. It was really cool. But I never really looked into it. I did some screen printing and stuff like that. Got into work for bands and stuff, like just doing a couple shirts for people. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but that's this is what got me back into basically art as a whole. This drawing that you guys are looking at. It's uh, definitely one of my favorites. Everything on there is money. You can see there's some like roots. And actually it says like all evil because money is the root of all evil. There's just a bunch of weird little things. I just, just money. Ugh. Uh, it comes and it goes, folks. Money comes and it goes. Uh, the next one on top here is actually a little watercolor piece. It's a little bit different. I don't think I'm going to show you a scan. I'm just going to let you look at this weird reflective one. Maybe. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. A little bit better. It's basically India ink on a big piece of paper. Now up here, this is actually a real Polaroid of my next piece. You can kind of see it in there a little bit better. Kind of if it'll ever focus. Focus. There you go. Um, what that piece is in a real Polaroid is actually the next piece I'll show you. But that when I was putting in that real Polaroid, I had to cut out of the art, this paper. And so I took that paper and I put it in this corner. The exact piece I cut out of here, you can see the squiggles match and everything. I cut that paper out and I actually drew on it in the same style as this bottom picture. And so it's kind of like got that dollar bill feel to it. I colored it blue with some blue watercolor and I just put that in the corner. So basically anything in this whole drawing that is in color is the inside of a Polaroid. Uh, be it a real Polaroid, that's the color there, or the fake Polaroid that I made and put on the center, and see on the inside's got color, and then this piece that actually came from the part that I cut out to make the inside of the Polaroid is also in color. So just something weird I did. Again, I did this like 10 years ago. So it was just, you know, different kind of art. Oh, there's my chest. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the camera now and show you guys the next piece I was just talking about. There it is, I'm gonna lift it up, can you see it? Let me get that shot a little bit wider. There it is. So that piece, I'm like looking straight up at the ceiling. Uh, that piece right there is three different panels. You can kind of see. Is there an up? Is there a down? Yeah, that's facing the right way. So the one on the far 
right is like a head. That would be this little piece right here. He's more like a head thinking. You're really supposed to look at him. Whoop. What I get for trying to move a tripod around in the middle of the day. You're really supposed to look at him from this angle. It's kind of like a head like this, and he's dreaming up all of this crazy weird stuff. And it is like animal on the top. There's weird animal stuff. And then it gets kind of planty stuff. But this piece was made to be actually put in a corner. So there's like hinges on it. So you can hang it in any corner. And it'll be like a weird three panel piece. So it's just something weird I did a long time ago. I don't even know why really. But I started pulling things from this painting to include into other paintings. Like the, uh, the tree with one little leaf on it. I used that in something else. Um, that leaf back there, the feather back there, I've used that a bunch. Um, just a bunch of some of the stuff I reuse over and over. And one of the next paintings, I'd, actually I did three more paintings, but I don't have them out here, so I'm not gonna talk about them. But one of the, my favorite paintings I did is this large one, see it right there with the, all the toucans and the moon, and it looks like one of those crazy truck stop t-shirts. That's actually the idea of it. <laughs> That'll be a little bit better. Uh, basically, I my girlfriend wanted me to do a large piece for our living room, and I was like, well, what do you want? Like, what do you want to paint? And I started getting into painting planets and stuff and birds, and so she gave me this weird list of just things I could pick from to put in the painting, so that's what I took from it. I put two cans, the moon, and actually this background is from uh, Mac OS X, was it Snow Leopard, I think, was the space background for Snow Leopard? I just photoshopped that, photoshopped in the moon, photoshopped some birds, made like a template, and basically just painted them. So that's kind of where that came from. One of the ones I started working on shortly after that and then never really finished is this piece right here. You can see one day it's going to be some hummingbirds fighting with lightsabers, Star Wars style. I just never really got around to finishing it. I just kind of got busy doing other stuff, shoes, other artwork. And see down there? See all that stuff down there? Those are all screen prints. I used to do a lot of screen printing. Bands. All kinds of crazy stuff. Lego people. There's a bunch of blank canvases over there because there's always stuff for me to be working on. And that's basically it. I just wanted to show you guys kind of a little taste of my other artwork. Now if there's anything you guys see or you want to know more about, leave it down below. You want to see any of those screen prints you want me to go through that, let me know. I'll be glad to go through them and show them to you and maybe print something real quick so you guys see kind of how it works. I don't know. Let me know down below. Love you all. Thank you guys for paying attention, watching, for clicking that subscribe button, and being here to watch me do these Veda Day vlogs. Day number nine is done. Tomorrow's day ten. I still don't know what I'm going to do for tomorrow. I like doing these where I don't plan anything. It's kind of fun. It tests me a little bit. It's like, can I do it? Will I do it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess I've been kind of doing it. You saw yesterday's video today because I fell asleep when I got home. I worked really late. And I was tired, still a little sick. I'm still a little sick now. <clears throat> so, it didn't get out on the right day. Whatever. Who's, you know, Veda police can take me away. Either way, that's all, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the big red subscribe button. Thumb up the vid. And thank you guys so much for coming here. I really do love you all. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Boop. I'm standing in Cinderella's shower. So cool, but it's me like